the businesses on board, you know, they, they're overwhelmed with the many tools and the many possibilities. They can go in a lot of different directions. They're really trying to work on engagement. What, what is the, you know, one or two most important things you would say to them? To make, make sure you're doing this and this or, or definitely doing this when, when, when you're up, up and getting started. A thought, your, your, your sense of that? Um, like Mike said, pictures are huge. Um, and also Google connected pictures with hashtags. So Google knows already now what's in your pictures. They can analyze them. So if you have a picture of the Eiffel Tower, you know, Google will know that and connect it to a hashtag. And you can start building uh, your own graphic or visual database of stuff that's relating to you uh, that Google serves to other people who are interested in the same content. So if you are uh, posting a picture of a cupcake, you know, and someone is looking for food, Google might suggest that because of the way they're connecting hashtags. So definitely use use hashtags and use images. Did, did you use did you use the phrase Google connected images at, at one point? I might, did I hear it correctly there? You did, and I don't know if that's the right way to phrase it, but yeah. You just mean I images for, from anywhere, and 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 by the way, as a side issue, you know, I said a lot of people there. They will take images from an article, and they'll give they'll give credit to the article. This is an image from Time Magazine. I'm using it in my post. Of course, I didn't ask permission from Time Magazine, and they, and they, and they, they link back to Time. And what's what, what what do you think is, is the rule for businesses on that? Is it okay to take a photo from someplace? Uh, I know Mike is doing it, so Mike, go for it. <laughs> well, the, the 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 it's a it's an open question, and it's a controversial uh, question. And I think the answer is different for businesses than it is for individuals. In general, if you're it, if I link to a story and I use the picture that's on that story, I won't uh, at attribute it to that story. I'm already linking to the story. I'm, I, I'm summarizing the story and I'm essentially doing a thumbnail. I'm doing essentially what Google does in search or news or whatever. If you go to Google News and you search for some topic, they'll show you little thumbnails of the, from stories. And that's I, th I believe that's a fair use. If anybody complains, which I've never heard a complaint. Then I'll do something different, and 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 so on. If if on the other hand I use a picture that's not related to what I'm linking to, uh, I'll attribute it if it's somebody's picture. If it's if it's in the public domain for some reason, uh, then I'll use that. However, having said all that, um, I think it's it's really a good idea. It's a really really good idea for businesses to use their own photography. Mm -hmm. Use their own illustrations and images because it's just a, it's just a, there's no substitute for originality. The last thing you want to do, the worst thing you could possibly do, is use stock photography. Yeah. Uh, it's better to have no photography than stock photography. Stock photography kills a post yeah. because because it's just so phony. It looks and no, nobody yeah. wants to see that, and it just looks it just looks. Uh, uh, horrible. You want to take your own pictures. They don't have to be the greatest pictures in the world. It's more important that they're original and that they sh that they're true to the content of and the intent of your post than that they're these beautiful perfect pictures. And so that's something that, you know, people need to get their head heads around. And it's not that hard to take good pictures these days. If you if you've got a business, there's probably something you can take pictures of and, you know, you can take pictures of people, you can take pictures of customers. You can do Photography yourself, but you want original content, and photography is a great place to do that. If I, I think I interrupted you with the whole photo issue, you were talking about a, a couple of really important things to do. You, you mentioned images, uh, something else, something else, oh, hashtags. Okay, definitely hashtags. And uh, you know what's are, are, interesting are, about hashtags yeah. is that people are very big on uh, tweet chat. You mm. know, it's like this biggest thing, and everybody's like getting there for like an hour or so, and companies are sponsoring it, and that's only on Twitter. Hashtags are all over the web if you use them in Google Plus. You know, there you can use them in YouTube and everything, and you can create your own hashtag and create your own little campaign, and you'll be found everywhere, not just in a tweet chat once a week. Hmm. So there are so many ways to engage people, um, and and actually take it even further. Now you have Hangouts on your phone in a chat format. You can chat with your customers. You can have events where they upload pictures you know, to an event from your restaurant and talk about you and share that and have a little contest between them. You know, they can do their own uh, powwow video hangout <laughs> chat about your business and come up with ideas. There's so many ways that you can lead your customers and share them and have, you know, celebrate them rather than just talk about yourself. And that's where the mind shift comes in, you know, from the marketing world to the conversation world. 
when you're when you're talking about your hashtags, are you choosing them from a list somewhere that you think is hot, or are you just you're making them up on your own based on where your business is at? You can do both. Um, so if and I'm where starting, do you, where do you find the hot list? Right in search. So when you you can start typing a hashtag, like you you could say uh, hashtag marketing, and you'll see all the hashtags that are coming up with it in the post. Or you can start uh, put a hashtag and start typing letters, and Google will suggest them to you like they do in search.